So censorship is happening more and more now on social media. I want you to take a look at this story. Artist banned from Facebook for turning MAGA hats into symbols of hate speech. Well, if this isn't exactly as predicted, that's, you know, one of the main arguments, one of the main reasons to lean more in the direction of free speech and against censorship and deplatforming is that it always, always, always ends up biting the left in the ass. Historically, that's what happens. The left, almost by definition, does not have power because the left questions power, is skeptical of power. So if you're in favor of censorship and deplatforming, then what do you think is going to happen? Because only the powerful r will determine who gets censored and who gets deplatformed. And they're not friendly to the left. So it just, it makes no sense. This is why civil liberties and freedom of speech is historically a left, a left ideal, is a left principle. This is why, you know, the ACLU was so staunch in their free speech absolutism to the point where they would even defend egregious characters because the principle is more important than the individual case. Um, so Kate Kretz is the name of the artist. And not only did she do the MAGA, like, clan hood, she also did the MAGA uh, swastika, it said Make America Great Again on a swastika. Um, the reason she was pulled, get this, she, quote, violated community standards. I don't know what they mean by that. Uh, do they mean that any clan hood or any swastika is by definition not allowed on there? Um, I would then counter and ask Facebook, what if it's being used in a comedy sketch to parody a Nazi or to parody somebody in the clan and that you use that and it, it's just part of the sketch which undermines white supremacy is it to be kicked off then you know um, is there no way to distinguish between the context of something because obviously context is massively important and you can't tell that this is an attempt to caricature bigotry or is it that you're censoring because um, you think it's massively offensive to people who are pro-Trump to portray their beliefs as maybe sympathetic to the KKK or sympathetic to um, Nazis or whatever it may be. I don't, I don't quite understand what their reasoning is, and they really have not made clear what their reasoning is either. They're just saying it, quote, violates community standards. So she appealed the decision, and... Um, Apparently, she labeled, she posted the image again and labeled it with text clarifying that the photo was a piece of art. Again, another thing that you would think like, okay, there's going to be exceptions, right? For, oh, this is just art, so it's cool, right? But, no, later on, they disabled her entire account. Now, Kate Kretz uses her Facebook page to sell her art and pay the bills and make a living. This is her livelihood. And... She also uses the Facebook page and she keeps contacts for art shows. So this is massively important to her. And now Facebook was just like, sorry, done. So I, I think this example is very important because this is just the beginning. If you think this is the end of it, like, oh, this, sure, one piece of collateral damage in this broader issue. My guess is the majority of instances of censorship and deplatforming, it's going to be against the left. So, listen, as a matter of principle, you should support freedom of speech. Um, you know, the only instances in my mind where it really makes sense to take action is when there's just obvious over the top cases of direct threats of violence. Um, clear, clear case of libel or slander or, you know, in cases of doxing for security reasons, you want to take some sort of action, totally get it. But when you just talk about the content of something, to just say it's offensive, you can't do it, fuck off. Let people make their own determination. Uh, that's what we call freedom. Sometimes it gets a little messy, but the messiness is better than having, you know, a group of nameless, faceless fucking... Silicon Valley billionaire oligarchs curate and filter and censor whatever they want to censor because I got news for you They're not perfectly objective and it's impossible to be perfectly objective 
And if you're if you start pulling things just because it's offensive, what's next? What if there's a vi caught on video a cop murdering an innocent person and is pulled from Facebook because oh my god you just showed something like that? Yeah, but that has news value. If something has artistic value or news value or whatever it may be, you to have this broad brush approach of just ban it, ban it, get rid of it, get rid of it. It's just so dumb. It's just beyond dumb. And, um, I think we should all be careful because a lot of people made their bed and now they're about to sleep in it, but I would rather us not. <laughs> I would rather us argue for a position of social media should be regulated like a public utility. And, which means First Amendment um, rights apply. And I think that the U.S. is closest to getting it exactly right on the issue of speech. Where the default is you got to say whatever the fuck you want, and only in the most extreme instances can there be action taken against you. So I think that basically this is the new public square, whether it's Facebook or Twitter or elsewhere in social media, popular social media, and it should be treated as such.